Hello there, Ken. No Rob here, and we are back in our new in town settlement in front of the town market from Victoria Rookie's new in town harvest uh, custom structure add on. Finally, after three or four episodes, we finally have been able to build this structure. Very, very expensive in terms of wheat, uh, but thankfully, with the help of Tom Bohemia's custom structure pack with the garden, we were able to collect enough wheat to get enough hay bales to build this magnificent looking structure with three different villagers uh, that mostly uh, we can sell the different foods that we have to for not very much was a little bit unfortunate um, but uh, more importantly we can purchase spices because we're going to need those uh, for more for the actual like cooking and recipes for what we're actually going to use these foods for um, so the next step today we're going to build the uh, harvest altar so we can take a look at what kind of foods we need to sell to the harvest goddess to get whatever special power uh, that she grants us. So let's take a look and see uh, how we can build the harvest altar. Uh, we're gonna need a lot more hay, which is, uh, I guess, perfectly reasonable at this point. Um, let's see, a diamond hoe, that's not too out of the question. 16 pumpkins, I think we're well on our way for that. Uh, 32 oak fence, that's fine. We'll need the building permit, of course. Uh, two campfires, a uh, beehive, okay, and let's see, 32 stone and a barrel. So quite a lot going on here. Um, we'll go ahead and do the hay last because I think we're, like I said, well on our way for that. So in the diamond hoe, I think we have the pumpkins, the fences, building permit, of course. Okay, so let's uh, go to the homestead and take a look in here. Um, so we need a little bit of gold. And we need, let's see, what was in here that we needed? Um, well, here's some fences. We can get started on that. Oh, we already have some campfires. That's pretty cool. Very, very good. Um, let's see. We Oh, we need a barrel. So we'll need two of those. I think just one barrel, correct? Uh, yep, just one barrel. Cool, cool. So let's make that real quick. We'll make all the fences, I think, uh, shortly here. The diamond hoe, we have to go to the nether and get some diamonds for pumpkins. Do we have... Oh, wait, lots of pumpkins. Okay, cool. Ah! ah. There we go. Cool. 16 pumpkins. Let's see. The building permit, as I said. Got the campfires. Oh, the beehive. So we will need... I'm going to go ahead and grab this other campfire, and we're going to get a... Uh, campfire underneath one of our beehives in the uh, castle courtyard. I think that'll be a good way to get honey safely because we don't want our bees to die. Uh, obviously they'll sting us, um, which isn't super great, but we would survive. Um, but it would be quite unfortunate because the bees would ultimately uh, die, which is true to real life, but still very, very sad and something we definitely don't want to, to have happen. So that should not anger any of them. Good, good. So now we can craft a beehive. Uh, and I think it was just the one that we needed, correct? One beehive, yes. So we'll get the 32 stone here real quick. Probably a couple of logs to build the oak fences. So 32 stone. And I'll just grab like a stack of logs and call it good. Or whatever that is. Okay, so let's go to the homestead. It looks like it's getting dark here. So we'll spend a little time crafting everything else that we need. And then go to sleep. And then we will build the harvest altar. So we've got our beehive. Um, let's see, let's put a couple, or reorganize a little bit in here. I don't want this dirt. Uh, I do need one, two, three, four gold, because we'll need to buy... Ooh. Come on. Uh, there we go. We'll need to buy a building permit. In fact, I'll do that here right away. Uh, there we go. Okay. So let's come over here and craft what we need. There we go. All right, so we need lots of oak fences, um, which I believe is like this, yes. So I think it was, I think it was 32. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Um, let's see, let me just make sure before I go with the rest. Yep, 32 oak fences. So let's make another bunch of logs and do something like that. Oh, made a little bit more than we needed, but that's okay. Very cool, so we've got all our logs. I'll put away the oak fences that we don't need. There we go. I'll put the rest of the oak logs back. I think that gets us done. So the hay blocks will do last. Oh, we have to go to the nether and get the diamonds. That's right. 
Uh, and then we have the pumpkins, we have the fences, we have the building permit, we have two campfires, the uh, barrel, the beehive, and the stone. Okay. Uh, so let's, yeah, go to the nether, I think. We still have some daylight, so when we get back from the nether, it'll probably be about time to sleep, which will be right on time. We'll do that, make our hay blocks. Hopefully, I think we have enough seeds by now. Um, and we might need to wait around a little bit more to farm some more seeds. Uh, let's see, do I have diamonds already, or do I have to go harvest some? Not in there, that's the... Okay, I do need to go harvest some from our magical farm. So I'll we'll pop on over here. And we only need two, but I'm going to grab a couple just to kind of have around, because uh, we do need them pretty regularly. And I think there was something else that I was thinking... Oh, I wanted a, a diamond shovel at some point. Um... So yeah, we'll just have like a couple of diamonds to keep around for incidentals. There we go. 12 should be perfectly fine. Okay. So back to the overworld. See how much daylight we have left. Possibly get a bunch of hay. Okay, yeah. We're cool. Let's get what we can from our invisible gardener here. Uh, I did speak with uh, Tom Bohemia. Um, and uh, or, or they noticed when they saw the video that uh, the gardener's invisible, and it seemingly has nothing to do uh, with them. So probably something weird, maybe a weird Optifine glitch or something like that. I know sometimes Optifine uh, can make the zombie villager in the cage, uh, Harold, can sometimes make him invisible. Um, is it a diamond hoe or diamond axe? Diamond hoe would make sense, yes, okay. Um, it can sometimes make the uh, zombie villager in the cage seem invisible, even though he doesn't obviously have invisibility. So I wonder if it's something similar going on there. Uh, very well could be. Alright, let's see here. So we don't have quite enough hay yet, uh, but we should be well on our way with the help of our farm. Of course, we have our fortune hoe. So we will. while we don't get more wheat, we do get more seeds, and then we can turn those seeds into wheat. Alrighty. Just readjust here in my chair. There we go. Okay, so yes, that's what we need to do. Let's go ahead and get our recipe ready in a site planner and figure out where we want to build our, our harvest altar. Probably right over here. Uh, maybe maybe right where this nether portal is. I don't think we're going to need any of this stuff. Um, so let's see. We needed the, uh, the hay bales go there. That's right. Hay bales go there and then the hoe and the pumpkins. We've got oak fences, the building permit, and the campfires, beehive, stone, barrel. So then all we need is the rest of the hay. So let's go ahead and put these oak logs back. Let's see what our crafting chest is looking like. We do have a little bit more wheat in there. That's nice. We've got some harvest tickets as well, so we can go ahead and... Oh, you're off to work. Okay. Um... Oh, let's put the, uh, the logs away. Um, so we can go ahead and, and harvest some more food here. Uh, probably should do that shortly so that it has more time to grow after we do so. Um, I think I'm going to leave this gate open for this uh, farmer villager to, to work the fields if he so chooses. If he feels so inclined. Uh, let's go ahead and regrow this. I'm not going to worry about harvesting the rest of the food here right this second, uh, although the carrots are very useful. I definitely would like some golden carrots for food, um, but we're okay on them for now, so let's hop in the garden. We have lots and lots of food right now, so... Oh! Oh! Oh, is that just more experience that was left behind from the last time? Go ahead and get all that. Very, very convenient trade right there. I do believe he uh, has updated that as well, so it's not quite as broken, um, but honestly... It is kind of working for me uh, right now. Um, you know, that's the that's the supply that we were given. That's the uh, the villager that was there. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and, and take full advantage of it. Uh, just because it's going to save us a lot of time for sure. Oh my gosh. A lot of time and resources on uh, collecting all the hay that we need for this town market. That should be the last thing that we need that needs so, so much hay. That really is quite expensive. Um... So everything else should be the kind of things that we can go out and search for and, and, and collect uh, a little more fairly. So let's see here. Eventually, I think we'll make some roads um, to go out to like other sections of the town. Combination of roads and bridges uh, to go over these kind of little plateau or ravines. Not ravines, but like valleys between these hills. Uh, so that we're not like having weird floating 
villages we're having floating bridges uh, and I think that'll be a lot nicer um, but that is something we don't need to worry about right now once we get this fourth structure built uh, then we will um, focus mostly on I think the cooking I think will be nice Ooh, I forgot that I did that uh, since I only have three I'm gonna get one of each for now there we go and let's see you need four rotten flesh for another three or bone meal or poisonous potatoes uh, oh get back here mr. tomato thank you uh, not what I wanted to put away there we go oh oh no oh this tomato got broken because I placed it down that's pretty sad well we might still be able to trade it I wonder oh come back here wonder if we can sell it to, like, the villager up here still. Um, the green grocer. Oh, he needs 18 tomatoes for... Yeah, that's... Oh, my God. <laughs> I could see one for one. Like, that would be... That would be reasonable. But, oh, my gosh. That's crazy. Well, let's go ahead and harvest the potatoes, I think, because then hopefully we can get some poisonous potatoes. And that seems like a pretty reasonable uh, exchange. Uh, poisonous potato for, I think it was three permits. That's pretty cool. Uh, do that as well. No poisonous potatoes, it looks like. Um, I'll go ahead and do the carrots since since I'm right here. That way our villager doesn't do it. And you know what? At some point, we're going to need to give these villagers some, some bread so that they can breed a little bit more. Um, doesn't need to be an immediate thing. But uh, yeah, definitely more villagers is, is going to be, I think, a good call in the long run. Alrighty, let's take care of some fishy boys here. Hi guys. While we wait for our uh, such and such, our wheat to grow so we can get those seeds. Um, and hopefully we'll get some bone meal too so we can get some more harvesting tickets from our, our farmer. Ooh, come here, come here. Uh, of course we have the, uh, uh, the zombie grinder, so kind of any time we can go over there and get a pretty decent supply of rotten flesh. We'd have to wait there for a little bit. Um, so I don't know that I want to do that right this second. Um, especially because right now we don't, now in particular, is not the time that we need uh, all the food. Um, because we don't know what I, what and how much we need yet for our harvest altar. Uh, let's see, there's a smoker in the sheepherd. That's right. Over in here. So we'll cook some fish in there. I think we already have some in there, yep. So one, two, three. Some potatoes in there. Uh, I think I'll do one, two more. There we go. Okay, and go back to our... Ooh. Pop in here. Back in here. I don't think we have very many seeds now, basically. Just the two. Okay, well, let's see how we can get a little bit more. Okay. Oh, why did I close this? <laughs> there we go. Ah, still just the one. Oh, my gosh. The fortune is not uh, playing nice with us right now. But we can get one more hay bale. We don't need too much more. Um, I think with that, that puts us to uh, 13, I think. We'll double check in there. Doot. Go put this down. Uh, yep, 13. So maybe we'll go, while we're waiting, we'll go to the zombie grinder real quick and get some rotten flesh. I think that'll be reasonable. Uh, we don't have looting on this sword. Um, though I do have a looting sword, I think, right? I don't remember. I'll check the ender chest and see, because um, then we can get even more rotten flesh uh, in a shorter amount of time, because we don't really need the levels. That's not why we're going here this time. Uh, it'll be a nice incidental, but we want the rotten flesh. Okay. Um, so let me see here. Make sure I have my silk touch active for when I break this. Um, I do have a looting sword. Okay, cool. Well, I'll go ahead and keep that there for now, I suppose. Okay, guys, let's go. Come on over. Yep. Get in the water tube. Of course, this is still not uh, the maximum efficiency, uh, but we've been, we knew that. Uh, we've known that for a while, so it works well enough when it needs to. Let's go, guys. You can see me. I know you can. I do wish they could see through glass a little bit better. Uh, it's pretty clear that they definitely, they get lost. Um, come on. Hi. Yeah. Come on, there you go. Slide on in, beautiful. So some of them are dying on the fall down, that's okay. 
Not too, too bad. So we'll get a good a good batch go in here. We'll smack him once or twice and get the, the looting. And then uh, we'll move on and uh, go back, get some more harvest tickets. Hopefully some wheat will have grown and we'll be in good shape. All right, that's a pretty good amount of rotten flesh. That's enough for, I think, four trades with the villager, uh, which is much, much more than we need. We have, oh my gosh, we have so much food. We gotta drop that off somewhere. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, let's put the, the sword back and do this. Get our ender chest back, magnificent. Alrighty, up to the village once more, the settlement. Probably getting dark here shortly. Yep, there's the sun. Okay, so we'll trade a little bit more with our uh, our farmer. This is looking pretty nice from this side. I like it. I'm liking the, the shelter kitchen. We're going to be using that a lot, of course. That's where we'll cook most of the food that we need. Um, so let's come over here. Good, good. We'll get a bunch of harvest tickets. Let's go ahead and harvest uh, what we weren't able to get earlier. That's still growing. We get that one and that one and pick that guy up cool cool put this here dun, dun, dun. there we go uh i'm gonna put this in here i don't know that i'm gonna need them for any of the the cooking um but just so they're nearby uh because we have so much food oh my gosh <laughs> um let's go to well plan to go to sleep prepare to go to sleep you know what i'm gonna take this uh nope not that there we go, put all of this food back in the homestead because we really don't need to be carrying all of it. Uh, probably even some of the other food that I'm carrying, I'll go ahead and put away in here. Um, I think in here, I think here makes sense. Uh, bone meal I'll go ahead and put right there, even though we could use it. Uh, and then I'll put the bread away. Keep the carrots on me. Uh, actually, maybe we'll go ahead and craft some golden carrots while we're here. So let's see here, we need a bunch of nuggets Golden carrots are really, really nice food source. They have such a high saturation. There we go. More than we uh, even have the, the gold to support. Granted, we have tons more gold elsewhere, but... Uh, okay. So, the go to sleep should be about that time now. Yep, magical. We should be pretty shortly here able to build the harvest altar and we'll see if we get to any cooking today i'm hoping to do at least one recipe but it's going to definitely take a couple of episodes i think to get the the harvest goddesses uh power whatever it might be uh oh some more fish spawned of course okay well let's go take a look at our farm see how the weed's doing we got a couple here we can go ahead and harvest namely i think this one for sure and um i think this one yep and that one, and this one. Okay, that's a god. A lot of seeds, a lot of wheat. Uh, oh, I missed one there, there we go. And I planted the potatoes correctly, good, good. I need to stop closing that gate. <laughs> um, the gardener, gardener's over here. At some point, we'll go in that portal. Um, I know a few people have been asking about it. It's very exciting, and there's a lot of cool stuff to do in there. Um, but I want to get a good way through. I want to do some of these custom structures. Uh, we've been focusing on harvest for sure right now um, because it's probably one of the more fleshed out uh, in terms of its its internal progression. But uh, we'll build a few aesthetic structures, maybe uh, like a park section. We'll build some skunk monkeys aesthetic structures as well. Um, we'll build, let's see. Um, might make some of these. These also have kind of an internal progression, but they're a little bit expensive and a little bit... Uh, they're, they're interesting. They definitely need a lot of focus. So we'll probably work on some of these in their own little district. Um, crossbow table we may or may not get to right away. At some point we'll do quill as well. Those are pretty expensive and mostly are aesthetic. They're really, really cool and I definitely want to show them off. Um, really, really amazing builds. Um, but uh, they don't have like uh, as much internal focus like they they're not going to be as um not parasitic but uh they're regardless they're very interesting we'll definitely build a couple of these we just may not build all of them as we are with harvest uh and let's see 
Uh, Iron Golem Farm and the Bee Forest, they're kind of OP and also pretty expensive. So we may build one or both of these, we'll see. Uh, and then there's a couple in here, of course, that we still have to build. We have the garden already. We'll probably build the forge. Maybe the mob hunter. We have the sheepherd, of course. Probably don't need the end traveler, but we might build it at some point. Maybe we'll wait until we do. We start working more on uh, the end city construction for the shining city advancement. Um, so there's definitely some stuff to do here, for sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, I want to get a good way through some or most of these. Um before I go into the, the dimensions. Um, partly because they're not done, so right now it's just a pre-release and it's just a 1.16 pre-release. Uh, it is in beta for 1.17 versions um, and you can get involved with that by joining the Discord. Uh, so that has even more new features and stuff. Um, so we may or may not wait until uh, Season 2 when we start like a 1.17 world, whether it's snapshots or full release. Um, but uh, I mean, we'll certainly do it again regardless uh, after 1.17 but whether we goo it in 1.16 or not not entirely uh decided on yet um but i wanted to go ahead and get the portal built uh for for us to have that option oh some experience okay so uh with that said any more wheat to harvest here yes indeed stop doing that let's go ahead and trade these as well Cool, cool and see how much wheat we have now so we have 13 in the crafter in the planner i should say that puts us to 15 we just need three more wheat that's all we need i think as long as that last wheat grows gives us two seeds or ideally three seeds so we can replant it but at least two seeds then we will be in great shape do i have a bone meal that i put over here that would be super nice I do not. It must be in the homestead. Well, since I have it, let's go ahead and grab it. Just accelerate this process just that much more and make sure that we are able to uh, build the harvest altar today. Okay. Yeah, my gosh, that one's taking quite a while. Let's do that one, though. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So now we have all the wheat that we need. We'll go ahead and do that pop back over here craft the last bale put the remainder wheat back in this chest we'll do something with it i'm sure uh, but right now we just need the bale and that'll get rid of this ugly portal here too haha -ha. so here oh i've got to replant some of this stuff um do that and there we go everything else okay looks like it cool so uh, now, this is the Harvest Altar. So this is the Harvest Goddess. Uh, and as you can see, we have to unlock them, or collect all the materials to unlock a special ability. So, ooh, there's some vanilla ones in here too. My goodness. So, oh my gosh. We'll need 16 apples and 64 carrots. So we have to do each of these probably just once. Um, and then the lock on, they'll, they'll only have one trade each, I'd imagine. So we have to collect quite a lot of... I think we have melon seeds. I hope we have melon seeds so we can start growing the melons. Uh, we'll need pumpkins for pumpkin pie. Uh, let's see here. Golden apple, golden carrot. That's super easy. I could do that right now if I wanted. Nice. So yeah, we don't get to keep the item, obviously. That's a, that's a structure void item, but we don't get to keep it. It just locks, automatically takes away from us. And now we have that one uh, completed. So let's see here. So that takes care of all the vanilla things. And then we need oh, six hamburgers three strawberry cakes so lots going on here very very expensive um all of these foods and crops and and things we have to cook both vanilla and harvest this is going to take some time so we'll see uh i think starting next episode we'll at least do one or two of the custom recipes uh, maybe if we happen to have the things then we'll, we'll do some of these ones as well um, but this is probably going to take a lot of time and dedication, so uh, we'll see if that is popular. If you guys want me to focus on, on this before moving on to any more real structures, then that's what we'll do. Uh, and otherwise, then I'll just start doing other things. But I'm sure things like the, uh, where is it, Skunk Monkey's uh, Pumpkin Field, we'll probably build that just because it'll be a fun thing to build on our way to having a bunch of pumpkins for all the pumpkin pies. We can grow some melons in there too. 
Um, so there will be some intermingling between this pack and others if we focus on the food. But if we want to put the food on the back burner for now and focus on other stuff, you guys just let me know. Uh, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to leave a like and share with your friends. Uh, and subscribe so you can keep an eye on new videos as they come out, as well as new updates for New in Town and New in Town Dimensions. If you want to get involved with the 1.17 beta testing for the Dimensions pre-release, you can join our Discord. Very active community, lots going on in there, even outside of the beta. Just people asking questions, and we've got a lore channel to talk about the lore, both past and future for New in Town. Um, and then you can also, of course, follow me on Twitter uh, to stay up to date on, on cool new dev diary type situations going on. So uh, with that said, thank you again so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.